Good morning, children. How are you? And how have you been? How has your week? Our week or my week has been good, and we have missed you a lot. And so we want to welcome you again to our Sunday school. Are you excited uh, to be with us so that we can able to learn together? Welcome as we get to interact and as we get to uh, sing together, pray together, and able also to get to hear our lesson today. And so let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you and we give you praise for who you are. Thank you for your care. Thank you for your protection. How we pray that you may be with us even as we start our Sunday school lesson today. Guide us and lead us in everything that we're going to do. Father, we pray that you may be with us. For it's your name that we pray and believe. Amen and amen and amen. So children, get ready because you're going to praise the Lord with uh, songs. So uh, get yourself ready. Uh, move along. Create some space so that we can able to dance and worship the Lord together. Are you ready? No, let's go. We are 
are moving in the power of God. Oh, we are moving. Oh, we are moving. Oh, we are moving in the power of God. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, boys and girls. How are you this morning? I want to welcome you to this service. Stop whatever you are doing. We are going to have our service. I'm Teacher Molly and I've missed you so much. Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we want to thank you. Lord, we want to give you glory. We give you honor. We praise your holy name, Jehovah Father, and we say, O oh Lord, that there's none like you, Jehovah Father. There's none besides thee, O King of all glory. We've searched, Lord, and we've not seen, O King of all glory. That is why this morning, Jehovah Father, even as we start our service, Lord, our Sunday school service, King of Kings, we welcome your Holy Spirit, Jehovah Father. We commit the children unto thee, Jehovah Father. The children who are watching us from home, O oh Lord, with their parents, Jehovah Father, I want to commit their lives unto you, and I want to commit them unto you, Jehovah Father, that as they join in this service, Lord, you are going to change their lives, Jehovah Father. You are going to give them a listening ear, Jehovah Father, that whatever you are going to teach us this morning, Lord, it going to impact their lives in different ways, you have a Father. This we pray, trusting and believing in your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. Hello, children. Like I said, it is time for Sunday school service, and I hope we are going to be taught together. Are we ready to learn from the Lord? Are we ready? Have you stopped whatever you are doing? Have you stopped watching the cartoon? Thank you. Now, boys and girls, have you ever seen a newborn baby? How does the family of the newborn baby feel when they see their newborn baby? What do they do to celebrate their newborn baby? Listen and find out what Abraham and Sarah did when their baby boy was born. Now, Abraham was at the age of 99 when God made a promise to him. Do you want to hear the promise that God made to him? God told Abraham, boys and girls, that he will give him a baby boy. Abraham didn't believe God. Why? He didn't believe God because he was so old and he knew he could not have any child. Even his wife was very old. The wife was at the age of 89 by then. But God made assurance and told him that, yes, of course, I will give you a son. And this son, you will name him Isaac. So one day, boys and girls, Abraham was resting at the door, at the door of his tent when he saw three visitors coming towards his tent. So Abraham went and welcomed these visitors to his tent. Abraham went and welcomed his visitors to his tent. But when he was doing that, he did not know that one of the visitors was God himself, and the two others was his angels. So he welcomed them and asked Sarah, his wife, to prepare the food for the visitors. Remember at home when visitors come to your house, what do you do? You prepare something to them, right? Is that what you do? Yes, that is what we do. When the visitors come to our house, we prepare food for them. So that is exactly what Abraham and Sarah did to these three visitors. They prepared food, and while the visitors were eating, God spoke again to Abraham. He said that your, Sarah, your wife Sarah will have a son, and you shall name him Isaac. When Sarah heard these words, she laughed. Do you know why she laughed? She knew she was so old and she couldn't have any child. But when God had her laugh, God 
asked Abraham, why did your wife laugh? And when uh, Sarah heard God asking um, why she laughed, she was so sorry. And she said, no, I didn't laugh. I did not laugh. And then God told him, a time like this, a time like today, a time like today that have visited your house, your Sarah shall bear you a son, and you shall name this son Isaac. So boys and, girl, boys and girls, later, Sarah had a son. Wow, the promises of God had been fulfilled in their lives, isn't it? What was the promise again? What was the promise? Yes, that was the promise. God had promised them that they would have a son. And indeed, this promise came to pass. Sarah bore a son by the name Isaac. So boys and girls, what do we learn from this story? What do we learn? We learn that God's promises never fail. Can you say that? God's promises never fail. God always stays true to his words. Whatever he promises for us, that is what he do. Are we together? When he promises us something, he will always stay true to his words. He's not a man that he will promise you something and not give you. A friend of you can promise you that he will give you money, isn't it? And then he fails. No, that is not how our God works. Our God, when he promises you something, he makes sure that he does exactly what he told you. Are we together? But there's something we are also supposed to do. You and me have to trust God. You have to trust that whatever he promised you, he will do. Are we together? We are learning today that we should always put our trust in God, and we are also learning that when God promises us something, he will stay true to his words. Are we, are we together, boys and girls? Are you ready to trust in God? When things are not working the way you expect them to do, do you still trust in God? That is our word today, and that is our lesson, that you should always trust in God, even when the things are so difficult, when diseases are coming our way, when you cannot not go to school anymore, when you cannot come here to church. God is still telling you this morning that you should always trust him. Remember Abraham and Isaac, they chose to trust in God. And that is when God fulfilled their promise. God fulfilled his promise to, their, to them. And that is when they had a son by the name Isaac. And today, as I want us, boys and girls, we want to look at um, some of the promises that God has for us in the Bible. Okay? We are going to look our Bible. We are going to look some of the promises that we have in our Bible. We are going to look uh, in, the, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5b. Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5b. I'm giving you time to open your Bible. Hebrews Chapter 13, verse 5, part B. Okay? Are you there? Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5, part B. That is also going to make our memory verse this morning. Open your Bible. Go to the book of Hebrews. Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5. Part B. We are going to use our fingers to learn our memory verse. The word of God says, I shall never leave you. Do with me at home. I shall never leave you. Once more. I shall never 
live you. The second promise that God has for us this morning also tells us that I shall never forsake you. Again, I shall never forsake you. Boys and girls, these two promises, I want you to take them serious and heed them in your heart. God is telling you this morning that he will never leave you. Just uh, the way he, 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 he was with Abraham and Isaac, and he gave them a son at old age, he's also with you today. And he's promising you that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He will always be by your side. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, King of kings and Lord of lords, We've learned from you, Jehovah Father, as your children, Lord, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, O King of Kings. Even when we cannot go to school, Lord, you are still with us. We cannot go to church, Lord, you know the reason. We cannot play with our, 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 our fellow children, Lord, outside. We are just indoors, King of all glory. You still know why, O oh Lord. And you are still telling us as your children, Lord, that you will never leave us, that you will never forsake us. And that is what we are carrying and we are hiding in our hearts, dear our Father. And we are telling you, the oh Lord, that we will always trust in you, dear our Father. Because you've taught us, King of all glory, that you will always keep your promises. That you will always honor your promises unto us, dear our Father. We give you glory and we give you honor. For this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We believe and pray. Amen, amen, amen. Bye. See you next Sunday. Bye.